So from my experience with the hammer, I prefer the clo the open close. <laughs> I prefer the closed. So from my experience with the hammer, I prefer the open closed head to the closed. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Call your dad. If you're a dad, find a place in the house and hide. <laughs>
head of this brush and we'll see what we can do about making some quick decent foam i don't really like or enjoy working lather in a bowl um one just not really all that good at it i've never really developed great skill at it and two it almost seems like double the work i guess it is sort of double the work i like to go directly on to the face with my lather first off it feels to me it feels good and again He wants to do all this work. See how I have like all this soap on the sides here. But I'm not saying that a bowl lather is a bad thing. And the one thing I can say about this bowl is they have that little pattern there that helps you agitate the soap. And then there are some ridges around the the sides here. And that is working up to be a pretty nice lather. I'll keep going for a little bit. And I'll add a little water as I go. So more water, more agitation equals more soap. I have developed a nice little knot. So let's get into the shave. Less on the soap, more on the shave. I'll re-wet that a little bit and I'll do a little face lather as well. We're gonna take the whole beard off. This is a shaving channel or a shaving review. So let's do it up proper. So as you can see, either I didn't use enough soap in my initial pull, or I'm just not really good at it in a bowl. So what I'll do, since this has a small diameter, I'll wet the head of this brush and I'll go right into this tin and I'll try to grab a little bit more. And I'll do a face lather. Smells nice. Mild soap or a mild smell. We'll come in here and get that soap right into the whiskers. And that feels good, guys. Add a little water if you'd like to thicken up. Oh yeah, there you go. Very, very old school kind of barber shop, kind of masculine scent going on here, but not overpowering. Not something that'll upset anyone that comes in to the bathroom after you. Let's clear out the nose. I'm going to start with the open comb head. And you can see those teeth there and the blade. So there are, I've heard two schools of thought when it comes to the open comb razors. I always find them to be, in my opinion, a little bit more aggressive than a closed comb. And we'll show you the closed comb head in a bit, or I'll show you. I keep saying wheel like there's two people in here. That, 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 I, it aggravates me when I see it for other YouTubers. And maybe I've been watching too much YouTube. 
I'll show you later the closed comb. But some folks will say that the cream gets in here and is pushed up and is actually more protective. So where it might look open, like more access to the blade. And I think it's a technique thing. I think proper technique probably gives you a, 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 a more uh, subtle shave, but here we go. Oh, wow. Love it, love it. You hear that? Do you hear that? Guys, woo! All right, I'm gonna flip this over. And we'll go with the other side. I love this razor. <laughs> Just started using it and I love it. All right, flip the blade. And I'll tell you why I'm flipping it. So your first pass, you want to go with, with the hair on your face. So your hair on your face grows downward. You want to go with it, with grain. The hair on my neck, and most people, the hair on your neck kind of wants to grow up and meet the hair on your face. Although my hair kind of grows in funky patterns, and you, you have to do... If you're really a serious wet shaver, you have to do some beard mapping and beard mapping essentially is letting your hair grow and you can kind of see as, as you get a nice little start to a beard going, you can kind of see where it grows. Um, but I like to use this method of shaving upward as a kind of a catch all because the majority of the hair, on my neck at least, wants to grow up. But there are some funky spots. So you kind of meet that, you meet that hair at, at, the, at the jawline. Oh, that's nice. There's really, really good heft to this blade or this razor. And that's helpful. And it's helpful in using proper technique because proper technique is you want to have a 30 to 30 degree angle as you approach your face. So if that's straight up, you want to kind of be somewhere like here and you'll, you'll feel it, right? You'll feel if you go too deep or too shallow, too shallow, you're not going to get the efficiency. You're not going to really be cutting anything. And too deep, you're going to be cutting what you don't want to cut. You'll be cutting into your skin. So you really want to take your time and perfect the technique. So that is helpful because with a heavier device, you know, getting it to that spot, it really wants to be at that spot anyway. And it's easier just to let it go. Also, you don't want to use a lot of pressure. You don't want to dig. You're not digging, you're shaving. With a heavier device, just the heft of the device allows for the proper feel against the skin. So you don't have to add any pressure. There's already pressure there. Now, I'll, I'm going to take off the goatee. I'm not going for the goatee, guys. I thought about it for a second. Let's take it all off. Two sides of your double edge, use them both. And take your time with this, guys. Take your time. There's no rush. There's no need. You're not, you know, going out on a break dance. I don't know why I brought that up, break dance. I'm getting old. You're not going to a fire. Take your time and do it right. I'm loving this razor. And I'll be interested to see 
the difference or feel the difference with the clothes comb, which I'll try for the next pass. Now this is the toughest area for me. It's where my hair is the coarsest. And the thickest right around the chin. I'm not going to let that bother me and I'm not going to spend a lot of time here because I'll, uh, I'll uh, address that in the next two passes. All right. Nice. Now this does have a hefty head. So getting into the nooks and crannies is a little bit less or a little bit more difficult with this device. <clears throat> so as you may be able to see, there's a little bit of a shadow there. I've been cautious around the lip, just taking my time. I'll address this in the cross grain shave which will be next and then why don't we get started with that let's go back to that original pole of soap and we'll apply some more lather wheel all right we're gonna have a drinking game every time i say wheel when there's only one of me in the room i'll go back I'll go back to that original. And as you can see, the, the soap is thin here. So this soap, it needs some help, needs some work, needs some water. To get it cooking. But so far, very protective. And the smell is good. So bravo to Pearl on those two. Those two features. All right, here we go. We're gonna do a cross grain. So I'm gonna go cross the grain of the, the skin or the hair, the hair's growth. And you hear that blade, you hear the, ah, oh, yeah, that feedback. Nice. Flip it. Two sides of the blade, use them both. You can get up to the nooks and crannies there. And do that cross grain shave cross grain around the chin on the neck we'll come over here and we'll try it lefty oh nice all right let's go back to the right so I don't cut myself open on uh, Now, if you're seeing those lines, bad form. You don't want to see those lines. The teeth mark lines means your angle is slightly off.
switch the angle and I'm getting a better result. Now, under the nose, the cross grain is where you're going to try to get up into that area. You're definitely getting around the lips. Now, if you can't get up into the, under the nose, which I'm having a hard time. Don't sweat. I like to get in there with a one blade after or a more traditional cartridge that has a thin head you can get in there or precision trimmer. Don't go crazy and make the end of your shave affect what was a relaxing, beautiful shave, make it a disaster. And I'll try it again with the closed comb head. There may be a little less overhang, so I might be able to get a little closer. This is also the time to look at, you know, your sideburns and make sure you're good there. All right, nice. Two passes in the books. I've thoroughly enjoyed my shave so far. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this head off. When you get the hammer, you'll get two head plates. The open, which I've been using, that has these teeth. And let me show you. Oh, look at all that hair that's stuck in there. I'll wash this out. And it's a nice solid head. So there's the open comb. And here's our closed comb. Look at the hair caked on that blade. set up the closed comb and I'll show that to you so you've got that bar that safety bar there you've got your blade very very nice very slightly lighter it feels slight A little near hot water. And right here I like to assess. You know, feel around to see where oh, some hair here. A little bit of hair there, a little bit here. Because I'm going to go for my third and final pass, which is going to be the against grain pass. And I'm using the open comb or the closed comb last because I feel like it's my, for at least for me, I feel like it is the uh, mildest shave or the mildest option for this razor. And I like to go from aggressive to mild if I can. That's why I like adjustable double-edged razors. The adjustable double-edged razors allow for the the uh, the changing or the adjustability of the gap size, so you can have more aggressive shave at the beginning when you need more aggression, aggressive, more aggression, and towards the end when you're just trying to do that clean up sandpaper, like high grit sandpaper for that smooth finish, that glass finish. That's when you pull this out. So this is the open. Oh yeah. I mean, this is the closed, sorry. And I'm doing against grain. Well, not on my neck, but on my face, I'm doing against grain. Nice. Not trying to do too much. 
Now I'm feeling that blade a bit more here, which is interesting. As I said before, a lot of folks will say that the closed comb is more aggressive. Oh, that's nice, guys. Any way you look at it, when you get the hammer from Pearl, you're getting two heads. So you can pick and choose. Or you can do what, like what I'm doing and use them and during the same shave. All right, let's come up here. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling more blade with the open head. So for my experience with the hammer, I prefer the open comb head to the closed comb. Just my preference. And I would flip them. I'd start off with the open for a more aggressive start. Pass one, pass two, or pass one. And then I'd finish up with the open comb. Just my opinion. But both very, very nice guys. All right. So now... I'll splash off or rinse off with some cool water. I'll apply the aftershave. I'll get the hell out of here. Even use a face cloth here to make sure we get it all off. Very, very nice. And again, under here, if I really want to get traditional razor, precision trimmer. Or you can take out your one blade if you have it and get in there it's for a nice finishing touch. Very, very nice. We're gonna go with, again, Master Soap Creations out of Canada, I believe. Very nice. Their Bloom Aftershave. Ah, oh, it smells so nice. Ah, oh, yeah. Just a nice floral hit for the end of a really proper Father's Day shave. So, there you have it, guys. Again, I want to thank the folks at Pearl for sending me all these great products. The bowl, the hammer, the soap, and more. And also, guys, they sent me this really cool stand. I'll just wash this out for both your razor and the brush. Brushes like to be cleaned out, air dried, upside down, so the water has no way of getting inside this head because that will uh, eventually destroy the contact with the, uh, the knot and separate the two so thank you again pearl and i want to thank each and every one of you for watching oh i broke the sink and i want to thank each and every one of you for watching happy father's day to all of you fathers out there and to you if you're watching if your father's still around go see him call him kiss him hug him whatever you want to do go do it and i'll see you clowns next time but in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing. Play. Now, roll the music.